Catherine, right now I want something you unfolding when you don't have confirmation have on exactly what it is, but I see three what looks like three young men dressed in black the with their hands on their heads. They look like they're being held at gunpoint at this point. Um, I'm fine if this is the way, but I can make out that there are two three police cars there, and these three young men do have their hands over their heads. These three young men do have their hands over their heads. We don't know if they are the suspects. As you've been reporting, we understand that they are the trench coat mafia. According to one student, they are these guys who walk around in school dressed in black trench coats, aren't very nice to people. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. We don't have a confirmation if these are them. But something definitely is unfolding. I'm standing outside of a home here where a crowd has gathered. As we arrived on the scene, we did see about five or six students get into a police car. They were crying and screaming. We're not sure what that's all about, but this is a very, very tense situation. The three teenagers now are on their knees. The cops are at them at gunpoint. About three or four cops have surrounded them at this point. And it looks like they are on the ground right now. Yeah, Alicia, we actually are getting live pictures from KMGH. As you are describing okay. this, we can see the police officers now surrounding one of the suspects, uh, another one in front of him on the ground. Um, I can see two as it is in the picture that is beaming over. The officers, of course, approaching very carefully with guns drawn. Uh, and we can see two of the three suspects you were describing Okay. Um, on the ground, yeah. being from handcuffed. From here, it's tough to tell if there were two or three. You're saying that you're seeing two from up above. Uh, on the camera shot, we Everyone's got. dressed in black. Yes. Uh, then the reports that we got of just moments ago, 15 students being um, ushered out quite quickly by the SWAT team. Any report on whether or not those were the hostages that we have uh, heard were thought being held by the three gunmen? Certainly the timing coincides with the bringing out of these, of these individuals. We see now one of them being escorted to a police car, put in the back of that car. Exactly. Well, we understand. I heard that there was a, a group of people who were escorted outside of the school. It could have been these suspects. It also could have been some people who were possibly being held hostage. We heard that the SWAT team was trying to get some people out of there earlier. Maybe that's the group of people that you're talking about. I can definitely say it's probably to some relief that they're getting these suspects out of there without there being more gunfire between the authorities and the suspects. But it's still very tense here in this whole entire area. All right, as, as we're watching this, you may have a, better, a much better vantage point, um, obviously more view there than this camera shot. Uh, what about the school itself? Have police now entered the building searching for additional students uh, that may still be, tr be inside? You know, Catherine, at this point, it really is tough to tell that something Carol might have been able to gather. I'm not really sure. But at this point, I don't know if the police have entered the school or not. All right. I'm, uh, producer speaking to me just a moment, Alicia. Thomas, yes? All right. Um, actually, while we're... Uh, watching this Let, let's stay with this picture alicia for just a moment because i still you you did you see three because i have been able to pick up two suspects we're now seeing the second one transported to a police vehicle put in the back of that car well from where i'm standing it was tough to tell if from up above you only see two then that's quite possibly that there were only two from here now it's very hard to tell because the officers are also dressed in uh, dark blue or black so at this point it's hard for me to tell exactly who's who from where I'm standing. But I did see at least two people with their hands up. And at one point, it looked like three. I'm not able to confirm that or not, though. Well, of course, as, as we're watching, it's, it is hard to see whether or not there's an additional individual uh, there or not, because we have seen two suspects placed in the back of the car. OK, well, hopefully they have everybody out there, out of the school at this point, and that there isn't a third. But yes. Yeah. If you only see two, there's possibly that there are only two. We're still waiting to get an update. We're hoping we're going to soon hear from authorities on the scene. There are a couple of ambulances where I'm standing and quite a crowd building at one home that's near the uh, scene and from behind the police lines also. Everyone here just waiting to see exactly what happened and hoping that things aren't worse inside the school. All right, Alicia, uh, I do believe there were a total of three suspects. Apparently, the officers have these individuals, and as we were reporting earlier, uh, they knew who these individuals were, confirmed they were a member of this so-called trench coat mafia. Uh, you can see now the three police cars there with the suspects uh, in the back of the car. We would assume, uh, obviously, that hasn't been confirmed because we are watching this event as it breaks. Uh, but certainly we would assume those are the three suspects being discussed throughout the morning. Uh, now will be obviously charged with the injuries. 
uh, hopefully not fatalities, but we are hearing reports there may be fatalities in the shooting, uh, up to eight individuals having been transported to area hospitals. Uh, the conversation has ranged up to 20, though, uh, the number who may have been shot. Uh, obviously, this situation is still being sorted out by police at the scene, and it will take some time to finally come up with the number of individuals uh, that may have been injured in this shooting. Certainly, they're going through the school at this point in time. Uh, a spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department in Jefferson County says that they are not the gunmen involved in this case. Uh, let's go live to Ginger Delgado. He was you are watching MSNBC's coverage of a developing situation. We have been watching three uh, sheriff's deputies' car lead three young men away from Clement Park. That's an open area just south of um, the Columbine High School. We have just heard that the three men who have been apprehended and taken into custody are not the suspects in this school shooting. Is that right, David? Is right. that what we've been hearing? They're, they're not, they are not suspects. They were three men, uh, young men who were uh, clearly arrested. We don't know in any way, whatever, uh, connected to the shooting, but they were uh, apprehended just a short distance, a major uh, park, as you were pointing out, right behind the school's campus, and they were taken into uh, custody just a few minutes ago. But again, authorities out there saying they are not suspects period certainly not the suspects involved but uh, there may be reports coming in that uh, that these three young men were described as friends of the suspects in the school shooting but again um, we don't have any concrete information on that the pictures we just saw the individuals who were apparently brought to their knees put in the back of the police cars are not the suspects now it is very difficult to confirm a breaking story second by second. We will get this information to you as quickly as we can, but we are therefore going to continue to watch carefully. Let's go back to KMGH and see if we can get an update on this story. Some gunmen walked into Columbine High School and opened fire on students as they were in the cafeteria and library, we are understanding. And now the search is on for the suspect and any other injured students that still may be in that building. We just don't know. A person uh, in handcuffs was just put in a car who was wearing a black jacket, not a black long coat, as we've heard about, but in a car. We don't know whether that's a suspect or someone who, again, was just in the area. Uh, at this point, police aren't saying. We've been telling you that uh, 18 people have been injured, in some cases critically, in this shooting, and they've been taken to various hospitals around the metropolitan area. The person lying on the ground. But if what we hear from this girl, who was an eyewitness to the tragedy, is any indication, uh, this could be one of the worst school shootings in history. Let's look at what happened just a few moments ago. Videotape of an arrest not far from Columbine High School. These young people were arrested. They were apparently friends of the uh, the suspects inside. This is the preliminary information we have. They're arrested in a field outside the high school and taken into custody. Now, earlier, waves and waves of students were brought to ambulances outside this high school. Uh, the first description, by the way, of the suspects were that they were wearing long coats, dark hats, and some sort of mask. Apparently, the cafeteria where the gunmen are apparently uh, holed up with some mm -hmm. other students. Let's join now our CBS affiliate in Denver and listen in on what's going on right now. That they always wore trench coats and they wore makeup. Much. Any word, Larry, on just how many students might be involved in this, quote, trench coat mafia? We've heard from other students that there may have been about eight of them. But, of course, let's remind you that uh, police are saying only two shooters in the school, only two suspects. Uh, earlier they were reporting possibly three. But there, there may have been as many as eight kids involved in this. Uh, maybe we're just not getting the word through the police, but uh, usually uh, in a situation like this, which is now, what, four hours old, right. you would hear some names. The suspects apparently still inside the school. Let us bring you up to date if you're just joining us, just getting home from work or school. The shooting began at Columbine High School this morning at about 11.15, one, two, possibly three people with guns and uh, small explosives opening fire inside the school. A number of students shot and seriously wounded. The number keeps changing from 18 to 21. There could be more injured still inside the school. The injured students have been taken to hospitals and trauma centers all across the city, uh, many of them in serious critical condition with multiple gunshot wounds. We've been watching students running from the school, escorted by police, as police SWAT teams sweep through Columbine High School, trying to get as many students out as they can and get them away from the gunmen who are believed to be still inside the school. And there, that's word of this 4 o'clock news conference and then word of a suspect being arrested. Uh, that is the good news that this situation may finally now be over.